Hello everyone, Andre from Survival Zone Africa. Thanks for joining me again today. Guys, today I'm actually on the on the Vaal River. Um, I came to visit my dad and I thought it would be a very nice uh, time to actually show you how I catch catfish. Um, and I've been using this system since I was actually a young boy, you know, when we used to go fishing. And uh, it's a fun way of catching catfish and believe me, it's a bomb proof. It's very simple. It's uh, you need minimal uh, equipment to actually do this so it's something you can maybe put in your backpack and you know maybe in a survival situation you know you could probably use the system um, catfish is um, our rivers and dams are really abundant with these with these with these fish um, they grow very big very powerful um, and they feed I mean they are very they are ferocious feeders guys and uh, you know you've got to use You've got to use some heavy tackle to actually land one of these bell boys, you know, so But I thought it would be very nice for me just to show you, you know, how, how, how what, what, what I do to, to actually get this fish and um, You need a you need basically a few components. I mean you obviously need um, some sort of uh, You know fishing tackle you need you can probably use bank line if you want you can uh, I suppose uh, you know the strands of paracord will, 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 will work just fine and you don't need much guys you need about 10 foot of, of, of some sort of strong line um, and you know just for this video I'm just I'm gonna use just some normal fishing uh, fishing tackle line this is basically 13.6 um, uh, kilograms of breaking power so it's basically 30 pounds and like I said you don't need much you need about you need about 10 feet of, 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 of line guys and I'll I'll explain why so let me just, uh, just obviously just get this get this out of the way. Okay, so that's basically your line that you're going to use. Um, the other component is is uh, you know is obviously some sort of hook. Now you can go for for maybe something smaller. You know, like this. This is about I would think this is probably a 4.0. But you know, guys, these fish get really really big and they are very powerful. And the way that I'm actually going to set up this line um, you know I like to go for for really heavy heavy tackle I mean this is probably a 909 hook like I said very strong very tough but um, you know and you know this is basically what I used to get you know to get these fish so what you're gonna do first of all is you're gonna tie your you know tie your string or tie your gut to the to the hook and I normally just knew you know use the normal swivel you know the swim, swivel method actually just wet it and then you know do the hole do the loop and you know, just pull it nice and tight and guys like I said you know this is this is very important you know because these fish are very heavy very powerful and um, you know you you know you you're not certain that you that you're gonna get one although this method has really provided me you know over the years with some with some very good luck so um, so that's basically the first part of it so you've got your hook you've got some bank line and then about like I said guys you don't want to go too long because you know how this system works is we're actually gonna look for a spot where we tie this actually on a branch of a tree or you're gonna look for a spot where preferably there's trees growing over the river with some 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 low hanging branches guys because these fish you know they actually feed especially at night they go to, you know they go to the shores and that's how they feed you know and they 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 really like places where the leaves and the trees actually go you know go from from, from the bank actually you know growing over the uh, part of the river where um, where it's quiet you know and the main reason for this is you know basically you know birds actually make nests in the trees and uh, you know sometimes the chicks will fall out of the nests and, 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 and manure and that's what these fish really like to feed on you know like I said they'll take anything there's a variety of feed of, of bait that you can use um, you know you can use uh, frogs you can use uh, certain cra you know crabs that's uh, that you'll find on the you know between and, and underneath rocks uh, you can actually use uh, piece of your chicken livers. We, we we caught them on chicken livers. We caught them on 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 on, on basically fish fillets. A smaller fish that you catch, you can actually just cut the piece of piece of fish off. Use that as bait. 
um, fish heads, you know, the, the intestines. These, these fish will go for basically anything, guys. And like I said, this is really a nice way of, of, of making sure that you can actually get one. But obviously your tackle needs to be strong. Now your second component for this, uh, for this way is actually a normal 2 litre two liter plastic bottle. This is just a normal Coca-Cola bottle. And what I'm going to do now is, you know, you're actually just going to tie uh, to tie the string around the, around the head of the bottle. Like I said, you know, you need probably, you don't want to go too, too long, guys, because, you know, there might be, there might be some branches under the water and these fish, the minute they, they take your bait, you know, they might go, they might go underneath underneath uh, you know underneath a branch and you it'll get stuck and you will definitely then you will lose your fish so just make a make a knot like I said the only thing you know the bottle is basically going to act as a buoy and the fish will most of the time will then be fighting against the bottle so this will obviously tire the fish out and Like I said, guys, I've been using this. Um, this is a way my father taught me since I was a little boy, and uh, this is really fun, you know. I remember when uh, when we were small, we used to go out in the canoe. We used to set out these lines on the opposite side of the riverbank, and you know, the next morning, you know, you'll get into the canoe and uh, you'll go and see what's what's been happening. And the minute you you normally, you know, the minute you get close to a bottle and you see the the bottle actually popping up and down you know you know you know there's something something on the line so so a real a real fun way as well but I really think in a survival situation this could be a very nice way of actually catching fish all right so basically you've got uh, you've got your buoy this is going to be going to be acting as your buoy and then there's probably roughly about a meter a meter of line before you get your hook guys and there's one other one other component that unfortunately I don't have with me because what's going to happen is is we're going to tie the end of your rope to a branch that actually grows over the over a piece of the piece of the water. So what I normally do is you can actually take a piece of um, a ranger band, guys, a nice piece of ranger band that you can actually tie the end of this rope to the ranger band and then onto a onto a onto a um, onto a branch and again guys the ranger band just actually will 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 basically fight the fish along with the ranger band and the bottle will actually tire the fish out like I said guys you know these fish they they can grow very big um, they can they can get to 200 pounds easy guys and you know because you're not really um, sitting there with a fishing rod this is just a nice way of, of, of basically getting it so um, a simple simple way to catch to catch catfish guys and like I said I've been using this method for for a very long time and again I think for a for us in a emergency situation this will be a nice way even if you don't have a bottle you know just keep a piece of ranger band in your bag and like I said you know the ranger band will then give way um, you know and, and the, the ranger band will then basically will will act as your as your rod you know so it'll give way and give way because otherwise otherwise you know these fish will just i mean we we we've come across um across these lines that we've set over the night and 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 believe you me guys sometimes a hook like this will will, will literally break or they'll pull the pull a hook literally straight so these guys these fish are extremely powerful guys and uh, that's just a very simple way but the location is also extremely important and what you want to do is I'm just gonna, um, you know, just quickly want to show you, you know, what to basically look for. So, um, just turning the camera quickly. I mean, this is just like a little, a little area along the side of the river that, I mean, this will be prime, prime area, guys. I mean, look at these little ponds that, you know, that the river makes here, and this is an ideal, ideal location. I mean, if you see, I mean, I would probably use. Uh, you see this dead, uh, dead dead tree that's fallen into the river there you know 
right in front there there's a there's a stump I would probably tie this to that stump and then you know you've got a little area at least where you know where you can uh, you know where you can basically put your bait and I, I, I can I can tell you probably nine out of ten times the next morning you'll come and you'll probably have a have a nice catfish another area that actually is also very nice if we just go right along the side of the of the bank of the river you see there's all willow trees and right at the bottom of these willow trees guys right in there that is prime prime catfish area where especially at night you will most probably get a catfish like I said you know there's a lot of rocks a lot of rocky areas here so but this little this little area here is really I don't see any other trees actually so there shouldn't be anything underneath and like I said you know the main thing guys is uh, is your 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 line you know uh, you've got to use you've got to use strong line and um, like I said you know it's it's uh, it's definitely a bulletproof proof way to to catch catfish so Please try it out in your area guys like I said you know you might just want to want to look at you know your law enforcement you know whether you're actually allowed to use this as a, as a fishing method but like I said guys I think in an emergency situation you know if your life depends on it quick and easy way for you to get some food on the table so and it's great fun like I said you know um, please leave me a comment you know like I said you know where we stay in the southern part of Africa most of our dams and rivers do contain catfish and like I said you know these things get get huge and it's it's a, it's a good fighting fish and um, you know if you know how to cook it it actually it actually doesn't taste bad at all so Please leave a, a comment, try, try it in your area and let me know if it, if it, if it works in your area. Like I said, a hook, uh, about, about 10 feet of, uh, of, of strong rope tied to a bottle that's about a meter from the hook and then onto a, onto a piece of stump or a, a low hanging branch and um, you know with some bait, like I said, you know these fish are, they take a variety of bait guys. So just a quick one uh, good fun and uh, please let me know and uh, guys just a quick one please subscribe to the channel you know we've uh, uh, the channel has been growing nicely so please subscribe please uh, like the videos share and um, until next time thank you so much